new hockey franchise in Seattle would be seeking a new arena. Yusatsi NHL players will tell you they'd prefer a future expansion team to land in Quebec City, but that doesn't mean Seattle isn't doing its all to bring hockey to town. In fact, according to Chris Daniels of NBC at affiliate KINGTV, Seattle Mayor Ed Murray has already agreed to a $600 million proposal from Oakview Group, which plans to construct an arena at the city's Seattle Center, an arena capable of housing both an NBA and NHL team by 2020. This, of course, doesn't mean the NHL is guaranteed to run to Seattle, even if yet another franchise could be looking for a new home in the near future. But if, somehow, Washington welcomes a team down the road, what in the world might the new team be called? Don't worry. People are already brainstorming, as the News Tribune's Craig Hill noted this week. Lucky for you, we've got a rundown of some of the most popular nickname suggestions thus far, and we've ranked THEM1. Seattle Steel hits the News Tribune eats the safe pick, but for good reason. Steelhead is Washington's state fish, and the name also comes from Seattle's 1940s team in the West Negro Baseball League. You get history, you get culture, you get smooth alliteration in the title. Heck, you might even get a trowel throwing tradition started at the game's point too. Seattle skyline at Kelly Wilson crisp and elegant. Like the Minnesota Wild, this nickname could act as both a singular and plural reference to the team. It has an obvious reference to the city's appeal. The logo could be spectacular. And think of the creative possibilities Seattle branding its top line on game day as the skyline point. 3. Seattle Metropolitan's The News Tribune It's a little longer, it's not quite as sexy, and it might take some getting used to thanks to an entire division being named the Metropolitan. It just seems to work, though, not only as another reference to the city, but in the way it rolls off the tongue. Call them the metros for short point four. Seattle snowcaps at Brad here's a cool one no pun intended. You throw in a depiction of Mount Rainier and you've got yourself the best weather appropriate ice hockey name this side of the Colorado Avalanche point five. Seattle Thunderbirds the News Tribune it's also the name of Seattle's junior hockey team, so a change would be in order point six. Seattle Nighthawks since bar down it's not without some borrowed concepts, see Seattle's football team, but the jingle of this one gives it some juice. Like Thunderbirds, it's got some decent potential for a logo and mascot. 2.7. Seattle Sasquatches hockey feed not a bad effort for uniqueness, but when I think Sasquatches, I think of the hairy beef jerky mascot. Bigfoot specific Northwest roots make this a fun one. No doubt, and you'd get some rich mascot potential. Something just makes this one too much of a stretch for a hockey team. Point eight. Seattle Kraken at Bring Back Sonic's Machine. The jerseys here. Maybe you get a little crazy and have Kraken tentacles extending toward the sleeves. Point nine. Seattle Thunderson's bar down at the short and sweet nature of it isn't bad, and the cloud a setting fits. But where's the I-N-S-P-I-R-A-T-I-O-N-10? Seattle Pilots The News Tribune fears an odd to history, as the Pilots were Seattle's first of a major league baseball team. It's not a particularly exciting name, though. Point one one. Seattle Skyscrapers' barred out concept is similar to Skyline, but the execution is nowhere near as smooth. Skyscrapers sounds too long and clunky, even if the logo potential is through the roof. Point one two. Seattle Thunderwolves at Adamstons it sounds an awfully lot like Timberwolves, which isn't ideal. Still, like Nighthawks, it's got something of a ring to it. Point one three. Seattle Grinders at Bloomy Double-edged Sword here with a reference to Seattle coffee and a gritty sport. That's some good marketing material. I'm just not so sure about its appeal over the long haul. It sounds just a tad too bland. But maybe that's because I like my coffee with cream. Point one four. Seattle Neon Warriors bar down. Oh, this comes off like Golden Knights, except way, way worse. Neon just feels forced in there. And how exactly were we planning to incorporate neon and incorporate it? Well, anyway, I get that the Seahawks brought this color to life.
but do their fans even like that tint? If this is the name Seattle wants for its hockey team, the answer is simple don't give Seattle a hockey team point. 1. 5. Seattle Grunge at Bring Back Sonics was going to go watch the Grunge play hockey do they play on dirty ice?